I know, I know. It's been quite a while since the last time I was on your screens. In fact, in this episode, I'm going to let you know what I've been up to for the last year, including some previous, current, and future TGW projects, as well as hopefully my return to making consistent videos. Crossing my fingers. Keep it right here. Welcome back, and if you're new to the channel, why don't you go ahead and hit subscribe, hit like, and also click that notification bell so that you get alerted every time I post a new video. And I know that's a bit of an empty promise lately because it's been exactly, well, just about a year since the last time I posted on this channel, and that's really way too long, longer than I would have liked. As you can tell, things look a little bit different, and there's a reason for that. The reason is I moved states. I went from the state of Florida to the state of South Carolina where I reside now. And that was quite a big change for me. Uh, it was a little bit disruptive to say the least. One of the things that it clearly disrupted was, you know, our we had a, a certain set space that we used to shoot in. I'm sure many of you are familiar with how that looked uh, in previous videos, especially. But um, moving here to South Carolina meant that we had to kind of do away with all that, you know, it meant uh, repainting the walls from where they were, the colors that they were back to the original white color. And when we got here, we were just uh, unsure about how long we were going to stay in this particular uh, home that we're in now. So far, so good. We love it here, but uh, we still haven't gotten our shooting spaces up to par with where they were before the the big move one of the additional reasons that things kind of slowed down here on the gentleman wig youtube channel was well i just got very very busy one of the things that kept me very occupied was of course the successor playing cards and i can honestly say that it's finally finished the campaign took so much time and energy and effort to get right but i'm really super happy and excited with the end result and people getting their decks finally in hand and I'm just overjoyed with with the reception so far, especially for the own, from the owners of the sarcophagus sets who seem to be thrilled with the end product, which was really my goal all along. In fact, if you happen to miss that campaign and you still want to get in on some of those successor decks, they are now available on thegentlemanwake.com. Finally, they make their way to the web store, including some of the more limited items like this sarcophagus. We don't have a lot left but there are a few if you're interested. Well, on the heels of that campaign finishing, there are some other things that have been going on. Concurrent with the fulfillment process for the successor, I was working on not one, not two, not three, not four, but five new playing card projects for the Gentleman Wake brand. And I'm really excited to tell you a little bit about each. So the first one uh, is currently live as a pre-order on thegentlemanwake.com. It's the Goldsmith by Kevin Cantrell. Kevin did a fantastic job just really nailing the design and aesthetic of this set. This is the Goldsmith set. You have two versions of the deck, a black edition and a white edition, as well as a commemorative coin, which has a two-tone satin finish. It's very, very nice. And it comes in this custom carry case that's branded on the back, including the series number 001. We're planning on introducing 002 in the very near future. It's called the Via Belluno deck. But in the meantime, like I mentioned, Kevin who did such an amazing job on the successor previously and has done really fantastic work for other brands like Theory 11 on the Lord of the Rings deck and Art of Play, of course, with the Standards deck. So this particular set is based on Johannes Gutenberg, who is the father of the modern printing press, uh, the man responsible for the Gutenberg Bible. Gutenberg was the son of a family of goldsmiths, uh, hence the name of the deck. Um, he also, of course, was famous for creating the modern printing press back in the 1400s, mid 1400s. So he's a pretty important figure. So what Kevin has done is he's basically told the history of Gutenberg in this deck. Each one of the court cards features a important figure from Gutenberg's life, as well as the man himself. Um, there are allusions to many of the, the aspects of the printing process that he pioneered as well throughout the details of the deck. It's really a fantastic deck design. The final decks are printed by Cardamundi, as are these prototypes, and will feature the luminous cold foil we've all grown familiar with, as well as 
beautiful gold gilded edges to keep the cards safe and looking fantastic so we're really excited about that like i said this is the first of a set a series of decks that'll come in similar packages to this so this is the first of what we hope is a progressing and ongoing series of decks called the cap series or the cantrell a priori which is a sub brand uh kevin cantrell sub brand produced by the gentleman wake so this is the first offering the next offering like i mentioned is a deck called via balloono uh it's quite different from this one but just as beautiful we're working on prototypes for that soon and hope to have that released to the web store as a pre-order as well so the way these work is we are limiting them to 1000 units that's it there won't be any more it'll be 1000 units all of the units come exactly as you see here with the the uh, carrot case with the acrylic shield as well as the acrylic coin holder the coin and the two individual decks the deck uh and of course the carrot case is branded as i mentioned on the back so the idea is to release one of these every three months at a hundred dollar price point currently they are on sale for 95.99 if you pre-order now uh so it in the end it will be commensurate with the value that you get from a top tier with a established playing card producer like stockholm 17 or low trek or third way industries you'll end up getting four sets of two decks which is eight original decks as well as some free surprises that will be included for people who purchase all four editions a year so that's the plan it's going very well so far we're excited uh and i just wanted to get the word out to make sure that everybody knows that it's happening if you want to get in on the pre-order just visit thegentlemanwake.com you'll find it there and you can sign up and put your order in to make sure that you get your copy after we print 1000 this particular set will never be available again so that's one two what's next well many of you might remember that i started to work with wormwood gaming uh last year i did a couple of reviews for their amazing uh, high quality tabletop role-playing gaming accessories uh, i spent quite a bit of time really delving into the brand and and getting to know uh all of their products quite quite intimately in fact i have a new video coming out very soon that's going to really take a deep dive into their most popular product, which is the MGT or the Modular Gaming Table. It's an absolutely stunning gaming table designed for multi-use purposes. You can, of course, use it as a dining room table or you can use it to host game night. Uh, really, it's a fantastic product. So thanks to that, I managed to develop a relationship with the folks over at Wormwood Gaming. And in fact, if you go on their YouTube channel, which has over 100,000 subscribers, their most recent video features the gentleman wake himself yours truly uh, interacting with them and talking and discussing and really planning a new playing cards project that will be released through their kickstarter account so they've had very many kickstarter campaigns over the over the last couple of years all of them extremely successful um, high earning some of the most successful campaigns on kickstarter platform ever um, and so we partnered on the design of a new playing cards deck called the groundskeeper uh, the groundskeeper is designed by dan greta who you may know as the designer of the hudson playing cards and the tycoon playing cards for theory 11. Uh, dan's done a fantastic job with this this is a deck geared for poker play uh, so we really wanted to keep the deck classic and beautiful and and very much something that you would see in the highest quality game rooms um, there's a reason for that uh, we wanted to release a, a slew of additional products uh, including poker chips uh, so i've gone ahead and and we've gone ahead and designed uh, some fantastic composite clay poker chips 14 grams 40 millimeter the hefty size beautiful uh beautiful quality nice sound they just they're just amazing um and this will also be part of the campaign the campaign is going to be launching on july 25th on kickstarter it's called the groundskeeper playing cards there's so much more to it than just playing cards though and i really can't wait to share more info with you as we get closer to the launch i think it's going to be a fantastic extension of the wormwood brand into a new sub niche of the gaming community which of course is poker play and home poker play uh, we are also working on a beautiful hardwood cabinet uh, to to hold all of your poker chips and poker accessories it's really going to be spectacular and i can't wait to show it and share with everyone 
so yeah so i'm very very excited for for the launch of this uh product this campaign because we worked on this deck for almost a year uh leading up to the launch uh so it's it's been a long time coming and i'm i'm really excited i think it looks absolutely gorgeous in some of the video footage uh, you're looking at right now you can see some of the details uh, on the tuck case and the cards uh, again as usual they will be printed by cardamundi featuring cold foil in some editions as well as gilded edges also in some editions the luxury edition um, we will have some standard editions as well and i think the prices are going to be um, very competitive with what you've come to expect i think it's also going to be a uh, highly accessible product because there is no there's no gatekeeping with this particular um this particular campaign the cards will all be available uh to everyone uh from the very beginning of the campaign so hopefully that is uh good news for you guys at home so what else um i've also got the beetlebacks playing cards coming hopefully sometime in september this will be another tentpole tgw release on the level of the successor and the and the parlor and the tempest that came before it the design is just beautiful work by surgeon vitikovic you might know him as wittick uh in fact this logo this uh t-shirt right here features a design that he created uh for that deck so we're really excited the the beetlebacks is going to be my return to um, magic and gameplay friendly decks whereas the successor was of course a more aesthetic aesthetically oriented deck with a very distinct style the beetlebacks will be more in line with classic playing cards uh what you've come to really expect from the gentleman wake brand so that's happening so via balloon coming up after goldsmith the goldsmith is currently pre-order available right now uh it's july 25th the groundskeeper launches uh that's going to be really exciting on top of that, we have uh, the Beetleback. So that's four. Earlier I said there were five uh, deck campaigns that we're working on. Well, really there's more than that. Uh, Kevin Cantrell is already hard at work with the third iteration of the Cap series, uh, which is a deck that he's uh, that's called the Sanctuary. Um, and there's not a lot of, of information I can give you about that right now, but it's looking really, really good so far. Uh, and then we're, I am also working with designer Russ Gray, uh, famously the designer behind the Harry Potter playing cards for Theory 11 and uh, and Star Wars and just a bunch of decks that he's done as well as the Metal Art Pharmacy decks, which were my top deck of 2022. So he is working on a deck with the Gentleman Wake brand. I can only tell you the title and it's The Grave Witness. It's something that we are really excited about. That's a multimedia project. There's gonna be a lot of stuff involved. Uh, and I think um, I think folks are going to be very impressed and very um, engaged by what we are putting together. Okay, so that's all the projects that we've got kind of in in the works. What else are we doing? Well, we're hopefully returning to making videos. As I mentioned to you before, I have that uh, modular gaming table review that I'm going to be putting up, which I spent quite a bit of time on uh, last year working on it. And then we moved and uh, and just things got really complicated. So I never really got a chance to, to uh, put it out. But now with the Wormwood campaign on the doorstep, it's the perfect time to reintegrate uh, and kind of show some love to that, to that company and, and that brand that has uh, brought me in uh, so graciously into their fold. So I'm really hoping to expand the awareness of the Gentleman Wake brand uh, to a new a new sphere of people, not just Wormwood gaming fans, but poker players, which I think is really, really fun. So I think it's just a natural extension of what we've tried to work hard to create. We also have uh, some reviews. I'm gonna be reviewing some stuff uh, a little bit differently. This is, as you can tell, this video in particular is a little bit more off the cuff. It's a little bit more improvised. And I think for the time being, you'll see videos uh, like that coming from this particular channel uh, just as we move towards kind of restabilizing and, and getting things ready uh, to where I'm happy with them and I really go back to the presentation level that we had before uh, but in the meantime I think you'll be pleased uh, with what we've got planned we've got some great reviews coming up of some really beautiful decks that I can't wait to share my opinions and thoughts on uh, as we move forward I definitely want to hear from you guys however like what are you excited most about like what what new projects and what new campaigns uh, are really um, setting off your radar and also what decks and projects you want me to review moving forward as we get back into the swing of making videos on a more consistent basis so again if you haven't watched it yet if you haven't clicked over yet check out this video right here 
uh, that goes into the process of creating the groundskeeper deck for Wormwood and our integration and really how we how we work together uh, and our collaboration to make that project a reality. Uh, and also let me know in a comment below what you think. Uh, and if you're happy to see me back, um, I hope to be back again very soon. Thank you so much for watching. I've been the Gentleman Wake. I'll see you again next time.